Here's two sets of facts that are at odds with one another and at the same time tell the same story. Senator Schumer of New York wants to more than double the ATF's budget, and Congressman Michael Cloud of Texas just revealed that the ATF is maintaining an illegal gun registry with nearly one billion records. As most of you know by now, Gun Owners of America released some internal ATF documents showing that the ATF had processed 54 million records into its registry in 2021 alone. Because he cares about the Constitution, Congressman Cloud launched an investigation into the ATF Out of Business Records Office along with 51 of his House GOP colleagues. That's when the ATF responded that they collected nearly 1 billion out of business records as of November 2021. Many of those are already digitized. And of course, this action violates federal statutes prohibiting gun and gun owner registries, not to mention it's a clear and obvious violation of the Second Amendment. And yet, Senator Chuck Schumer has said he wants an additional 1.5 billion in funding for the ATF. The ATF's current budget is 1.4 billion. Here's where all of you can get involved. After February 18th, government funding will expire and Congress will need to vote on a bill to fund the government. Congress should not spend a dime for this rogue ATF agency while it's blatantly violating federal law, the constitutional rights of the American people, and it's maintaining this illegal gun registry. We'll have some links in the description below for you to contact your congressman and senator, but here's what we want from them. These members of Congress should refuse to consider supporting any federal government funding vehicle, be it a continuing resolution or an omnibus appropriations measure that funds the ATF. This agency simply can't continue to get away with making law in contravention of what Congress wants and what the Constitution demands. I'm actually thinking about making another video about this topic in the future, but I need to bring it up here. We obviously want to get rid of the ATF, but that needs to get done after all the other gun control laws are repealed. Otherwise, other agencies like the FBI, for example, would just take over those responsibilities. Then there's the other part of this equation to actually double the funding of the ATF. This is just politics, and Schumer is, in my opinion, posturing to make himself look like a muscular leader for his coalition. Schumer hasn't had the easiest time being majority leader of the Senate after the Senate failed to pass two of President Biden's most important agenda items, the Build Back Better bill and the voter reform package. So he wants to use this funding increase so the ATF can get involved in the interstate task force on illegal guns. The focus of the task force will be getting what Schumer calls illegal guns off the streets of New York. I actually find it kind of interesting that he wants to take your tax money from around the country to focus on his state. He's basically using you and your hard work to clean up the mess that he's created in the state he supposedly represents. Here's what he said. I'm pushing for 1.5 billion in federal funds so the agency can help with this work and do much more at the national level. Without the 1.5 billion, these plans will not have their full effect. So I just wanna be clear, I 100% know that Schumer and his party and the anti-gun movement want to double the ATF funding. If they could get it, they would. But the reason I say that this is mostly political posturing is that in my experience, when a politician says, I'm pushing, it usually means it's gonna be a half-hearted attempt to give a head pat to their political base. As we've said previously, GOA stands ready and willing to fight Schumer and all of the anti-gunners in Congress. But for now, my view of it is that he's trying to pivot from his failures and go on to something that he knows his base wants. This is a great example of how politicians, and they do it on the left and the right, use the Second Amendment as a soapbox when they need it to whip up their coalition. All right, that's gonna be it for today. You guys have actually been doing us a huge favor by liking our videos and subscribing, and we wanna keep that momentum going. So thanks for all of your help there. Everything we put up has the intention of educating and empowering all of you. People ask us all the time how they can get involved. In just about every video we post, we include a link or a phone number or an action item of something you guys can do. Those emails and phone calls we ask you to send to your members of Congress, they don't actually go to some giant delete folder. They work. I know they work because I've seen them work up close. Never forget, members of Congress typically don't like picking a fight. They want to go after the low-hanging fruit, something easy. Our goal and your goal is to let them know that we aren't an easy target.